Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how changes in atoms can take place when electromagnetic radiation is generated or absorbed. You should then be able to describe the hazards of ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. And if you are a higher tier student, you should be able to explain how radio waves can be produced. So in this video we're looking at what happens when electromagnetic waves are generated or absorbed. I'm showing you here a picture of lithium being heated in a flame. As you can see, the lithium atoms are giving out red light. In other words, they're emitting electromagnetic waves. So how are these waves being produced? Here's the first key fact. When electromagnetic waves are generated or absorbed, changes take place in atoms or in the nuclei of atoms. So I'm showing you here an atom of lithium. When we heat atoms, we cause electrons to move from one energy level to a higher one like this. When this electron returns to its original energy level, it generates an electromagnetic wave, in this case light, and I'm showing that here. So as you can see, a change to the atom has generated an electromagnetic wave. Now another way an electromagnetic wave can be generated is a change to the nucleus, and a good example are gamma rays. Gamma rays can be emitted from the nucleus of radioactive atoms. Once the gamma ray has been emitted, the nucleus has got less energy than it had at the start. Now, there are a couple more points about this. Firstly, when electromagnetic waves are absorbed, that can also cause changes to atoms. For example, just like before, electrons can change energy levels. Secondly, electromagnetic waves can be emitted and absorbed over a wide frequency range, from radio waves to gamma rays. Okay, we're going to look now at the hazards of electromagnetic radiation. Ultraviolet waves, X-rays and gamma rays are potentially very hazardous to the human body. Ultraviolet waves increase the risk of skin cancer and cause the skin to age prematurely. X-rays and gamma rays are ionising radiation. In other words, they knock electrons off atoms when they're absorbed. Because of this, X-rays and gamma rays can cause the mutation of genes and this increases the risk of cancer. Now, the damage caused by radiation depends both on the type of radiation and on the dose. The dose of radiation is measured in sieverts or millisieverts. Now, I should point out that you're not expected to remember the unit of radiation dose in your exam, but you might be shown data on different doses and asked to interpret it. Okay, if you're a higher tier student, you need to be able to explain how radio waves can be produced. So we're going to look at that now. Radio waves can be produced when electrons oscillate in electrical circuits, and the word oscillate means move backwards and forwards. I'm showing you that here. Now, these radio waves can be absorbed, for example, by an electrical circuit in an aerial. And when this happens, they now cause electrons in the circuit to oscillate. This can create an alternating current with the same frequency as the radio waves. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my Vision Workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 